Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Adam Lee, respectfully the greatest man that you will ever meet. You guys, this video is something that you don't want to miss. If you're struggling with mental health, we're gonna talk about it. For the last year of 2020, it's no secret that I've dealt with depression and anxiety for many years before that, but 2020 is when things really manifested for me and I realized and acknowledged that there was a problem. I know we all were dealing with a rough year, but these are the symptoms that, that I realized that I was struggling with and noticing that there is an issue that Adam needed to get fixed. So there are six major symptoms that you will notice if you're dealing with depression and anxiety. The first symptom that I noticed was the symptom of loneliness. No matter what was going on, no matter who was around me, no matter where I was, all I felt was lonely. Lonely with what I was going through, lonely with what I was feeling, and lonely with who was around. Even if I was in a room full of people, of friends, of family, I still felt so isolated and by myself. That was a problem. The second one I felt very often and didn't even realize it was sadness. I was sad all the time. One day I was working all day, it was Saturday, and I was working and editing and recording and, and just continuing to plan for the future uh, as far as my content is concerned. And throughout the day, all I felt was sadness. And then I realized, what, Adam, why, why are you sad? What is going on? And I couldn't figure it out. I knew that I was feeling sad. Number three, another symptom that I felt was anger. I was angry and didn't even realize <laughs> I was angry at myself, I was angry at God, I was angry at my wife, I was angry at, at certain individuals in my life, I was angry because of, of how I was feeling inwardly and didn't know how to process that. So the anger was another symptom of how I was really feeling. Another one was resentment. I was resenting my family, I was resenting certain individuals within my family for certain issues that they could not control and I can't change. And that was another symptom that I was feeling about depression. I started to resent even somebody that did nothing to me. I was resenting them for, for making a decision that was best for, for them. Why? Because I was so depressed. I felt like I didn't want to be in this place anymore. So that result was resentment. Another one is fatigue. I was sleepy and tired all the time due to not exercising as well because I lost the motivation. I lost the will, I lost the drive to want to work out, to stay healthy. And so I was extremely tired. The thing that really caught my eye physically was my skin. My skin broke out and it continues to break out and I'm trying to do what I need to do in order to get my skin as healthy as it once was. But my skin breakout is another symptom of depression and anxiety. Quite recently, I was realizing that you know, something was wrong and no matter what I was trying, it, everything was getting worse until I realized something is, is deep down inside of my spirit that's pouring out of my pores and it was depression. So be careful with depression and anxiety. You don't want to take it lightly. You don't want to minimize how you're really feeling. Number one, Jennifer Lewis said something that was so profound to me. She said, you have to feel the feeling. Take a moment, embrace what it is that you are dealing with so you can process it effectively. You don't want to make a decision that you can't reverse. You don't want to make a decision that you can't reverse. Depression will get you to a place where you are making irrational decisions and choices that you are going to regret later on. We got to be careful that we don't make those mistakes. And it's easy to make those mistakes because we're not thinking clearly. We're either tired or we're feeling sad or we're feeling alone or we're feeling isolated. And all of those feelings, those emotions are extremely fickle. And so they will distract us from what's real, what is reality. So we have to be careful with that. And so I have five ways to help you with depression. And I've shared videos like this before, but I continue to evolve and grow and learn about certain things like this. So when I learn something new, I want to bring it back to you. Number one, be honest with yourself. Please don't lie to yourself. My wife used to ask me daily, are you okay? Is everything all right? And I used to say, yes, I'm okay, I'm fine. And I used to get irritated because she used to check on me all the time. I wasn't being honest with her. And most importantly, I wasn't being honest with myself. Because being honest with someone else means you have to be honest with you. 
And so that's the problem. Be honest with yourself. Tell yourself the truth. If you're feeling sad, tell yourself, I'm feeling sad. Let's deal with this. Number two, with being honest with yourself, you will speak up and you will speak out. You seek the help. Let someone know. When you're, after you're honest with you, then tell somebody. Tell somebody how you feel. That's the hard part. Sometimes it's, not, it's easier said than done, but you can do it. Go to that person, tell them how you feel so you can get the help that you need. Go to the hospital, call a friend, call this hotline right down here and get that help that you need. You can do this. Number three, seek professional help. Go see a counselor. Talk to somebody weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, however you need, however much time you need. Have that therapeutic opportunity to just release everything that you are holding on to. We don't want to hold it because depression can kill and we don't want it to kill us. Number four, stay accountable to you and your team. I want you to find a team, a group of friends, a group of people that's going to hold you, that's going to be there for you, that you trust, that you know that if you can release all of this information to them, that it won't fall to the ground, that they will help you. Number five, which is the most important one and my favorite one, is practice self-care. Take one hour a day and use it for you. Read, walk, study, sing, dance. Do something that you're passionate about. Spend that hour focused on you. A combination of things, if you will. I take care of me. Self-care is important to the betterment and success of you. You can do this. Just in case you feel like you, you're not able to do it, think about the fact that you're worth it. You're worth every moment of your time. I hope this video blessed you. I hope you learned something. Don't forget, like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel for future Henderson conversations. All right, I love you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.